it's an absolute donkey. Have a go at the size of this thing. <laughs> Righto, welcome back to another episode, guys. We're heading to Karumba. We just left Mariba. Uh, we're on the Kennedy Highway, staying at Archer Creek Rest Area. It's a mouthful, I got it out. Uh, staying here for the night, we're gonna go check out the Innit Hot Springs and uh, anything else that's around there. And just behind me, I can hear a bit of a creek and a waterfall, so I reckon we might head down there and have a bit of a look. But uh, hope you enjoy this one, and fingers crossed, we're gonna go to Karumba and catch some fish. Surely, surely, we'll get the boat off there, have a bit of a look around, uh, but we've got a week to get there, and hopefully we can fill in that time by showing you guys some pretty epic content. So stay tuned, and uh, hope you enjoy. Well, we were having a chat this morning and decided to come back to Emerald Creek Falls. We've come here on the last trip. Um, it's in Mariba. It is an absolute gem of a spot. And uh, this time I reckon it's flowing just a little bit harder than last time, which is pretty impressive to look at. rest there is a creek and we fished it last time and I caught a few fish but I didn't actually take the GoPro with me so figured I'd take it this time and we have been warned that there is quite a large freshwater crocodile living in there and if we sneak up on it it's typically out of water so we'll try and do that again no fish uh, I don't know what it is I'm just no good I do enjoy trying but yeah one of these days I will actually successfully catch land and release a fish all on camera that's the goal that's like that's the dream that's what I'm here to do unfortunately I'm just no good at it but give me time bear with me Bear with me, we're going to some pretty exciting places, so surely, surely you've, like, you've got to land someone. Anyway, we did however see a crocodile, so that's good. We uh, were fishing, fishing away and KTL out and sure enough there's a little freshwater crocodile sitting there. And uh, he even played the game and let me fly the drone around him, so that was good. But we are going to go and have some lunch and pack the fishing rod away for a little bit, I think. Uh, we're yeah, here for another two nights. I don't really know what we're gonna get up to. We'll try and find something exciting, but uh, it's nice just chilling for a few days. So that's that's the plan, chilling. Anywho, we'll, uh, we'll, see ya. we'll see ya when we see ya. Just behind me is Inn at Hot Springs. Uh, now you can go in there, you can pay, and you can hang out in some of their own uh, pools filled with the hot spring water, or you can go down to the creek, which is totally free, and hang out in some of those pools down there. There's a series of four pools, and uh, progressively they get hotter and hotter and hotter, so when you get down there, be careful of that. Uh, but it's pretty nice, it was, it was really nice to go down there and check it out. So I'll throw on the drone footage now of it, and uh, yeah absolutely red hot spot definitely make sure you stop in here on the way through 
Righto, well we just rocked up to the Cumberland Chimney. Now this is a donation camp. It's about 20 k's west of Georgetown. Uh, on the way over to Normanton and Corumba and all those areas. Uh, pretty pretty nice spot. There's a couple of dams here, there's toilets. Uh, and yeah, just drop, drop a bit of change in the donation box and uh, you're all good to stay. The only probably downfall with this place is it actually is quite dusty at the moment. Uh, but hey, it's all good. There's uh, a few cows roaming around, which will make it interesting tonight, I'm sure. They'll probably wander into camp, but yeah, not a bad little spot on the, on the side of the highway uh, on the way to Normanton. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again it's when I pass your door, the memories come back again. Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave. Makes me wonder what happened. So we just had a swim at the Georgetown swimming pool. Absolutely awesome spot. If you've got kids or you're just looking to burn a few hours or it's just bloody hot, uh, definitely come and check this place out. We got a token from the council, the Georgetown council, and uh, you literally just walk in there, say you wanna to go to the swimming pool, they'll give you a little token, come to the front gate, and it's just like a little coin that you put in the gate and it automatically opens for you. Um, there's showers in here, they are cold, um, but look, doesn't matter really, like it's so good. And uh, there's toilet block, and yeah, a little sort of swimming area for some kids back over here, which is bloody awesome. And, well, we made it to Normanton last night. We're camped just on the northern side of the Norman River. Uh, basically, as soon as we got here, I was cruising past the river. There was a guy there fishing. Reckon that he lost two barra straight off the bat. So, it took me all of about two seconds to get the rod out and start fishing. So, I got to be carried away with that. I didn't actually catch anything, which is no surprise to anybody ever. Freaking suck at it but I have dead set never seen so many barra buffing in my life. It was ridiculous, like genuinely ridiculous. And I get to, went to fly the drone to try and capture a few of their buffs and uh, it's a no fly zone. So that sucked a bit and the GoPro just wouldn't pick them up. Anyway, you'll have to take my word. I'm gonna go there again the Savi and uh, do my very best to get one. I've, Sort of made a bit of a plan that live bait is the go, so we're gonna try that. Uh, I did try and get a bit yesterday, but I just couldn't get any. Uh, I spoke to a guy before though, and he's given me a bit of a heads up on a spot to get some. Uh, I did throw the cast net though, and I caught a little barra. I'll show you that now. Well, I just pulled the first barra out of the Norman River. It's an absolute donkey. Have a go at the size of this thing. I was actually um, trying to get a bit of bait, and the poor bugger jumped in the net, so. Yeah, we've, we've got a few prawns, so we'll use them, but um, yeah, I'll get this poor little fellow back. Hey, they're in here. Uh, yeah, that was a little cutie, but anyway, um, today we've woken up and it is absolutely blowing. It is so windy, we've had to shut the whole van up. Little hot tip, if you're at this uh, free camp, just on the northern side of the Norman River, close your windows if it is windy because the dust that gets in your van just off the wind is incredible uh, uh yeah anyway we're gonna go into town now and check the place out we're both hanging for a coffee so that's the big plan but stay tuned because this afternoon i am gonna catch a barra it's just gonna happen i have to like there's no if i don't catch one the savi holy smokes Anyway, we will go into town and we'll be back out shortly. Have a go at the size of this crocodile. Oh my God. I don't know how we would go seeing something this bloody big in that little tinny. Because um, that's the size of the crocodile. And that's the size of our boat. So it turns out that crocodile was 8.63 meters and is the largest crocodile to ever have been shot. 8.6 meters. Wow, that's massive. 
our boat's 3.5 meters. That's ridiculous. I'm heading out to go get some bait and we're gonna have a bit of a fish to Sabi. There's um, a little place up the road between uh, the Normanton River and Kurumba. It's only probably five k's north of the Normanton River or Norman River and um, Apparently you can get some mullet there, so I'm gonna give it a go. Conditions are absolutely atrocious. Like, it is so windy out there at the moment. wondering that's how you break rods. It's probably what the big bar are eating. It's a bony brim. Well I got a bar. Hopefully I can land the bloody thing. In the tackle box is lip grip. Big white ones. Literally just fished for like four hours for that. <laughs> oh, well. I just felt my drag and it was about as tight as it could freaking get. And he's straightened the hook. That was like an ADA. Eh? Straighten the hook. Like, I can't even pull this drag out. It's that fucking tight. Like, that is so tight.
well, we made it. We are at Karumba. I don't know, but I'll lose it. <laughs> oh, that is so good. You have no idea how hard I've been trying for a bloody fish. Tabara! <laughs> <laughs> 